Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna take a look at another new Shadow Pokemon, the Shadow Alolan Golem in the Open Ultra League. And today for a little bit more fun we're going to run a double nuke moveset on this Pokemon, which is going to be definitely a lot of fun. I don't know if I would recommend it to you, but the first game here is already over while I'm still talking about how cool Alolan Golem is. So this team here worked out super super well. It's kind of inspired by my brother's team that also other creators now copied as well, which was usually with Magnuson on the back. Um, I think he was running Stone Edge on the Ampharos instead of the uh, Grass type move. I ran for the Grass type move instead. But I think the Stone Edge is mainly for Giratina altered because otherwise this Pokemon can be a little bit of a tricky one, which I definitely encountered as well. All the games that I played with this team are in today's video as well. This time around, I didn't have to cut anything out because unlike the video earlier, this team went really, really fast. Like this team literally got wins super, super fast, which was cool to see. But yeah, let's take a look at the gameplay here as you can tell encounter Jellicent. This is kind of a matchup that I don't really like to see because um, Jellicent is so insanely bulky that as you can see right now, this move coming in, the Brutal Swing, is super effective and it just doesn't knock them out. It just doesn't knock them out, so we have to go for another one. They can now decide to either shield or let this move go through. They shield here this time around. And now I have to hope that I'm going to be able to get the fast move through before they can go for the charge move. This is like a 50-50 chance currently that the opponent can go for a charge move in time or not. But um, yeah, here at least we're going to be able to go for the focus burst. And honestly, Ampharos is just amazing. Boom, goodbye there. In comes a Clefable. And Clefable actually does not know, I guess, that the steel typing is resisted by electric. So here the Moonblast would have definitely the better choice. Most likely would have been able to one-shot me. But speaking of one-shotting... Boom! Bye bye Clefable, there is nothing they can do there, they just got one-shotted by a wild charge. Let's take a look at the next game, M not, M not the Ampharos, the Magnezone in the lead, this is what you usually run in the back here, but we're gonna get out the Trevenant. This is not really ideal for us, because we don't really have the best answers for Trevenant, but Ampharos at least is still going to have the move Brutal Swing, which is going to allow us here now to get at least a little bit of damage onto the opponent. And we're going to be able to go for another charge move here, forcing a shield from the opponent as well. And we can now try to farm them all the way down. And we should be able to farm down in two wall switches, allowing the opponent only to get to one charge move. They recognize it as well and go for their Shadow Ball, as we now have the Magnezone against us. And I'm going to try to go for the Focus Blast here. But sadly, this is not working out at all, as the Wild Charge is coming through, going to knock us out. I'm going to swap immediately into my Golem, and in comes a Charizard. I want to go for a charge move here. Usually, if you have the um, bait move, I think it's a rock, no, rock throw is a fast move. Rock Blast is the charge move. You would be able to just spam that here, but I don't have that. I'm just going to farm them all the way down without even shielding or anything like this, because I don't have shields anyway. But the damage output is just insane. One big core breaker for this team is, of course, the Nidoqueen. This is a really bad for us here right now because Nidoqueen going to be able to beat all our Pokemon, but also in the standard team it wouldn't be like it would be basically an instant forfeit here. Thankfully, I have still the Leaf Blade, which is still gonna make this bet battle a little bit closer because we're gonna do some neutral damage here and quite a decent amount of neutral damage. As this is going to be a Poison Fang, I think, so I'm going to let this move go through as well. In comes now the opponent's Obstagoon, and at this point of time, it is looking pretty bad for us, especially because the Obstagoon is going to boost here. Honestly, I kind of want to go through my gameplay from today. I think I encountered like four Obstagoon. I think they're all boosted with every Night Slash so far. Um, it was wild. Like honestly, Obstagoon against me today, or like in general the last few days, this Pokemon was just insane. It just literally boosted through everything. And here, of course, this game is over. At this point of time, I'm going to now forfeit this game. But yeah. yeah, honestly, I don't know what's happening right now with Obstagoon from my opponents. They literally always get the boost. Which is okay, let's take a look at the next game. We're going to have a Galvantula here against us, which will be an interesting one. We will be able to now let this move go through from the opponent. It's going to be the lunge, and we can go for our Brutal Swing here, which will do some pretty decent damage, but the opponent actually going to decide to shield this move up. I'm going to let this move go through, and I'm just going to hope that my good friend Alolan Golem can do something here in the back, as we're going to have at least the rock typing here. Maybe they're going to swap, and they're going to swap into a Jellicent. And what we can do here is we can just go for the big boom with the wild charge. They didn't expect it. We can farm them down. And now the opponent decides to say, yeah, okay, this is going to be, that's going to be it. Kind of think they just didn't really want to play anymore. And we're going to see here that they're going to forfeit after this wild charge. And this is going to be a good game. A good game to the opponent. A very nice boom from the alone golem. As they're going to go into the next matchup, Scrafting lead. Very decent for us. 
But as they're going to stay in here right now, kind of tells me they're most likely weak against Virzian in the back as well, which is going to be very beneficial for us, of course, as we can go for the Sacred Sword here. That's going to do a ton of super effective damage. Honestly, I thought of going for the Leaf Blade here right now, but I didn't want to reveal my moveset. So what I'm just going to do here right now is just going to go for the Sacred Sword, and of course, they go into the Jellicent. If I went for the Leaf Blade, I would have put them into range for one charge move of my Ampharos, but it is okay, I guess. I don't think it really made us too much. It would have definitely given me a little bit of a better match up here, but I literally thought at the moment, ah, oh, do I go for the Leaf Blade? And I was like, maybe I can just still bait the potential Stone Edge in the back or whatever. But sadly, it didn't work out, so I'm forced to go for it. Another, actually, if I went for my fast move, I would have knocked them out in time, even though they had a serve. I don't know why they didn't go for it. But I will be able to farm them all the way down, as this is going to be not even enough to knock me out. It's just the power up punch, and we can go for another brutal swing. Maybe we're gonna get a shield here. We are not, but it's going to be fine as we can go into our golem. Yes, the opponent gonna do super effective damage, but we're also gonna do super effective damage. And you see already the health declining insanely fast on the opponent's Pokemon, but also of course on ours. But we can now go ahead and get two shields from the opponent, which basically seals the deal as we're going to be able to now get to another Leaf Blade with our Virzian. This should be it. This should be game as there's no lot that they can do about this one. The one Leaf Blade here going to be able to finish up this game. Good game to the opponent. And let's take a look at the next one. Also, if you enjoyed this video so far, please leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, it's free and it helps out a ton. Here, I think Stone Edge will have helped me out a little bit, but honestly, this battle, I, if, if I would, like, I don't know, if I just put in the best builds that I play, I would definitely cut this one out because <laughs> this is just embarrassing. You're going to see it anyway. This is honestly my worst battle I've ever battled, I think. But now I'm going to go for the bait. The opponent going to no shield here. I can try to go for another one. I'm going to go for another shield here. It is like I'm two shields down right now. I could have just went straight focus blast. Mostly I knocked them out and realigned. But no, I'm just going to go for the bait the entire time. And <laughs> this point of time, this game is over. I'm just going to fall for it. Honestly, I completely threw that. Too many over predicts. It was just not a lot of fun to watch that. That was just so on me, it just got sad. But yeah, we're going to see another Giratina coming in, which is of, of course again a pr pretty big problem for this team. I actually would think that it's better to have Stone Edge on your lead here, just for this matchup. So you can just go ahead and go for one Stone Edge and then later on swap into the Ampharos, because after one Stone Edge, I think one Brutal Swing with a little bit of Volt Switch damage would be enough to knock out the Giratina. You kind of have to do some team effort against the Giratina here, in my opinion. But again, I'm going to play this completely horrible here. And uh, look at this. I thought that the opponent still needs at least like a ton of energy. I didn't even expect them to be here already at the move. And yeah, we're going to go down here with even out throwing our charge move. And at this point of time, this game is over as well, kind of. Because as we're going to see right now, we're going to see the Dragon Claw coming through from the opponent. I can try to catch the move here. Didn't work out. They have a floor just in the back. And yeah, um, again, Stone Edge will have been helpful here. And again, I didn't really play it too well. But hopefully this next game is going to be a little bit better for us, as we're going to see a Deoxys defense in the lead. Again, a horrible lead for me, but the Psycho Boost coming through and going to do some nice damage. Do they know that they have Focus Burst? Focus Burst is not a lot of times on this Pokemon. A lot of people run Zap Cannon, but the opponent knows that I'm running Focus Burst, I guess, as they go ahead and go for a charge move here against me. And again, I'm honestly, I'm not really too happy about my um, styles of battles today, but I should just go straight for a charge move here and I thought, oh, maybe the opponent does still need one more fast move, but nope, they over farmed by like one, which I didn't think. And now the opponent got to another charge move on time, allowing me to go at least now for my own charge move and have some extra energy. But this is really not looking too good for us. I really wish I didn't go, like I really wish I just went for my charge move straight away there. But um, yeah, now we're going to have the Deoxys against us. We will be able to do some pretty decent damage with our Leaf Blade at least, and we're going to do maybe enough damage for our golem as well let's take a look at this we're going to see that we're going to get them pretty low here i'm going to let this move go through and hope that's just golem going to finish up this battle here I'm going to swap out now into our golem and try to get some extra energy as the opponent going to go into their war rain right now i can go for the stone edge here and we can say goodbye to the war rain because boom this just one shots them now it's all down to deoxys and i think Maybe if I had the rock, um, what's called rock, not th rock throw, it's always say rock throw, it's rock blast there. Maybe I still had a chance here to get to two charge moves. I think I would have been able to, but it's still fine. Good game to the opponent there. Deoxys was just a core breaker to be fair for my lead as well as for the backline. 
Drapion next, another pretty bad Pokemon for me to deal with. As they're staying in here right now, I'm pretty sure that they're running Sludge Bomb because otherwise they would swap out because the other moveset, the Aqua Tail plus Crunch gets walled by Virusian. So we're gonna get out this Swampert here right now. And again, Ampharos is the MVP of today's team. Boom, going to do a ton of damage against the opponent's Swampert. I will be able to shield up the charge move. Going to be the Earthquake here, which is amazing for me as I can knock them out. Now comes in the Drapion, which is gonna go ahead and go for one Crunch, which is gonna get the debuff. But it doesn't matter as I can still go for one Brutal Swing here right now and I can now hopefully knock them out as you're going to see that the opponent going to go for a charge move here. Maybe I should have into my Ruse in here. And at the end, I have to say, I really need to go into my Virusian because sadly, they still have a Charizard in the back. And here, we don't have a Rock Blast anymore. So yeah, Rock Blast would have been super beneficial here. We would have definitely got T2 Rock Blast and would have put them into a range where we could just go for a Leaf Bait and knock them out. But sadly, uh, or like the Sacred Sword, I think like Sacred Sword actually does more damage than the Leaf Bait. But sadly, because we don't have a Rock Blast, I'm going to now forfeit because there was nothing I can do anymore. So definitely Rock Blast is the better move to go for, Double Nuke is just a little bit more fun. Most likely something like Rock Blast plus Wild Charge is the best option for this Pokemon as you're going to do a ton of damage anyway with your fast move and Wild Charge is just doing so much damage in general so I feel like this would be the best moveset that you can go for. But I want to go for Double Nuke as my opponent here makes a great play by the way. Catching the Brutal Swing onto their Clefable and I make a horrible play here by going for the Focus Blast. Both of them would be resisted of course. But of course the opponent going to shield something and um, I don't know, Brutal Swing Spam would have been so much better for me later on. But again, the opponent doesn't know that Hyperlinks and they don't know that Media Match is going to be resisted here. So I'm going to be able to still survive it. But also going to be able to get um, enough damage out here that I maybe can farm down with two Volt Switches hopefully. Turns out, nope, they're going to survive with like 1 HP again and they're going to go for their own Meteor Mesh and it's of course going to do less damage on my Virusian. Let's see what's coming in. It's going to be the Golisopod again, where we can now go ahead and go for the Leaf Blade, which would knock them out if they're going to let this move go through and they are not. They're going to shield this move up. What do they have in the back? It's going to be a Jellicent. Thanks for catching the Leaf Blade onto their Jellicent. It's a shiny variant though. That looks really, really cool. I only have the other one. I feel like the Mint variant looks a little bit better here. But we're going to see the Leaf Blade doing a ton of damage, not knocking them out yet. But we're going to put them into range where we can just Volt Switch them down and this is going to be very nice for us. As we're going to see here right now, we can use a shield against the Surf. I know that the opponent is a Liquidation start, but they cannot swap out yet. And now we're going to have the Wild Charge waiting for them and the Golisopod is going to get shredded here. Boom, bye bye there and we're going to be able to win this game. Double Nuke is a ton of fun. Let's take a look at the next game. We're going to have here the opponent running a... Registeel in the lead. Amazing lead for me. This is also the last game for today and this is also a very interesting game. You're going to see me here going for the Sacred Sword. I actually didn't know that you're going to... Okay, you're not going to lose the Zero Shield scenario, but you have to go straight for your charge moves and the Zero Shield so you don't die from this Pokemon. But Focus Burst does a lot of damage here against me. I can go for a Sacred Sword, but no, they're going to swap into the Jellicent and I ran into the wrong Pokemon. I didn't want to go into my Golem. You saw me earlier going into my Ampharos. Ampharos is so much better because he can take a charge move while here Surf is being super effective and going to do a ton of damage. So this was my first mistake here. And it was a crucial mistake to be fair as well. As you're going to see now the Surf coming through, I will be able to go ahead and go for the Wild Charge against the opponent again. And we are playing pretty bad again today as well. As we're going to see the opponent going straight for the Surf, smart decision by them. As they're now going to be able to go ahead and get a pretty decent amount of damage in as I can still at least farm them down. We're going to see the opponent going into their Registeel right now as I'm going to be able to snipe them with the Sacred Sword here from our Virizion, which does not knock them out sadly. But in comes now the Clefable which we can go ahead and go for the Leaf Blade. But again, Clefable has access to Moonblast, which is going to knock out my other one. I didn't go for my charge move here, which is really, really bad because now I'm not going to one-shot them with anything here. Focus Burst is coming through, it's going to be resisted. Like, what am I going to do here? I'm going to be able to get them at least pretty low. And also, low enough to get another charge move off. As soon as we're going to be able to win this game, yo, like survive this one here, we're going to be able to get the move off and win this game. Just barely there. I played this so bad again, but still we're able to win this game here. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. Please subscribe if you haven't already. There are two videos on the screen right now. One is Shadow Ratchet Rock if you haven't seen it. One and the other one is Shadow Garchomp in the Ultra League. So check them out if you're interested in the new Shadow Pokemon. And i see you later for Carbink Showcase. It's going to be also an interesting one. Bye-bye.